Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson and business math concepts. We've talked previously about tax and discount, and this video is focusing on markup. Now, the markup concept is if you're going to sell something and make a profit. My visual model for this is going to help you uh, determine an equation to solve these kinds of problems, or a proportion, which is the method I recommend. It's a little bit faster, one step fewer. So, on the left, upper left, the full price is what your cost is. So let's say that you want to sell um, your car and your car is $5,000. Okay, if you sell it for $5,000 you don't make a profit so you definitely want to mark the price up. Now this amount of course obviously is called a markup. Alright, it's the percent that is added on. So I want you to think of this as a container of some kind and the original amount is 100%. That's your 5,000. All right, let's say you want to go up 20%. You're actually going to sell your car for 120% of the original price. So, again, if you have a $5,000 vehicle, you want to sell it for a 20% markup, then what is your selling price going to be? All right, now in one step, you can do the proportion method. So you're really doing 120% of the original price. So 120 over 100 equals the new selling price over your original cost of the item. All right, 120 over 100 equals X over 5,000. If you cross multiply and do 120 times 5,000 and divide by 100, you will get what selling price you should have on the tag. Now in two steps, this is perfectly fine, you can just find what the 20% markup amount is going to be. So it's 20% of $5,000, all right, which is 0 0.2 or 0 0.20 times 5,000. Put that in your calculator or do it uh, the long way on paper and you will get your markup amount, okay? Now obviously a markup just like tax is added on. So you're going to take your original cost of your item, which is 5000 in this example, you're going to add that markup amount. All right, two steps. Find the markup amount and then add it on. The proportion method I like better. It's one step. Here's an example. Tom wants to sell his $23,000 truck at a markup rate of 45%. What is his selling price? All right, well, let's add on to this container. And the markup amount is, or the markup rate is 45%, which gets added on, right? So you really are selling it for 145% of its original cost. So to develop my proportion, I am going to Take a look at these four amounts. Now the full amount, of course, is $23,000. All right, so from my diagram, I can determine my proportion. So 145 over 100 equals X over 23,000, the original amount. Okay, the original 100% amount is always in the lower right. Okay, cross multiply and solve. Or you could find 45% of the 23,000, which is 0 0.45 times 23,000. That would be the markup amount, okay? And then you would add that on to the 23,000 original cost of your truck. So that would be two steps. The proportion is one step. All right, grab a piece of paper and a calculator and let's try these problems. Numbers 9 through 12, they give you the cost of the original item 
and the markup. So the question is, what is your selling price? Well, for number eight, uh, nine, you can find 89% of $35,000. That would be your markup amount, and then you would add that on. So 35,000 plus your markup amount, and that would be your answer, $66,150. But the proportion method is 189%, that's your markup added in, over 100 equals X over 35,000. All right, that will be a one-step process on your calculator. Number 10, you are selling it for 140% of its original cost. And on the other side, it's X over 8,400. All right, pretty easy. Cross multiply, those two numbers multiply, divide by 100. On number 11, if the markup is 53%, you are going to sell it for 153% of its original cost to you, original value, and that equals X over 49.50. And number 12, to set up the proportion, 185% over 100 is equal to something over 995. Now these are all round to the nearest penny, so hopefully your results are about the same. So markup is added on to a price just like tax. In this case though, you are the seller. All right, look for the next video in the series, which will be problem set 4, and we're going to combine a discount amount and a tax. So we're going to do some combination problems. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.